Well, we kind of face to the north and real sudden like turn left. I thought all our colonial scouts were in the militia. The militia is fighting the French in the north. I ain't your scout. You sure ain't no damn militia. When Last of the Mohicans came out in 1992, it was unusual for all kinds of reasons. It was largely unusual because as an adaptation of the classic pre-American Revolution novel written by James Fenimore Cooper, it seemed to be very much out of the zone of what we could expect from Michael Mann. Those films that I love that he has directed have largely been urban crime thrillers. The thing about Last of the Mohicans that was also unusual is that the movie itself is very, very sort of classic throwback Hollywood adventure romance. This was the movie that actually certified Daniel Day-Lewis as a box office draw. He'd previously only been working in independent films. Stay alive, no matter what occurs. I will find you. This movie took incredible care to recreate the French-Indian Wars uh, taking place in Upper New York State in the 1750s. But the interesting thing about it is that the movie looks incredible, but it is also a romance. Madeline Stowe plays a character whom is being rescued by the Daniel Day-Lewis character, and it is this sense of often swooning, sweeping romance, which is then juxtaposed with some of the most vivid recreations of skirmish and combat taking place in the wilds of pre-independence America, which gives the movie its sense of sweep, gives the movie its identity, the care with which the whole thing is mounted the sort of shameless way that it indulges. It feels like a Technicolor movie made in the late 1940s by a Hollywood studio. And that's not a bad thing at all. And I think that this was the movie where Michael Mann took an opportunity to pay homage to those films that he had seen as a kid that meant so much to him. But I do think that uh, it's probably one of the more lovely but disposable uh, Michael Mann movies. What movie should we explore next? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more from Hollywood Suite.